Hello, my friends. Hello. Welcome back for more Explore Hold Tulsa. Hold on there, Neil Diamond. Let's wait until we get more of the guys from the Tulsa Founders Chorus together to uh, drown you out. I bought a ticket back in 1998, I believe, to what they call the Show of Champions at a district convention for our Southwestern District that was held here in Tulsa. That show took place at the Brady Theater. My wife and I went there and from the moment I started listening to that, I was looking at her and said, I can do this. And she said, go for it. And that was, you know, 15, 16 years ago and the rest is history. Well, I started in the Barbershop Society in 1985. I had a friend in high school who took me to an event, a rehearsal on a Tuesday night, and, uh, and then when I got home that night, of course it was a school night, I was in high school, and my father was waiting at the door, wondering where I was till 11.30 at night on a school night, and so I said to my father, if you will go with me next week, I'll prove to you that I wasn't out doing drugs or doing, doing anything bad. So the next week, um, my father went uh, with the two of us to the rehearsal and he joined as well. So I didn't get grounded, everything was fine, and so that's 30 years ago. I've been uh, a barber shopper for 40 years, and I first started in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, I am, was a farm, uh, have been a pharmaceutical sales representative uh, for uh, many, many years, and uh, I was calling on this doctor that uh, I knew had sung barbershop, and he said he would see me that night when he finished his patients um, uh, if I uh, would go sing with him afterwards, and so not wanting to turn down an opportunity to, to uh, see him and also to sing, well, I said, okay. Once I got involved, it really became a part of my life. And uh, that's, that's what happened to me. It doesn't happen to everybody, but it happened to me. It became a lifestyle for my family and I. I think uh, most everyone that uh, uh, sings barbershop or likes to sing um, will find that uh, we have such a great camaraderie uh, together and uh, the type of music we sing is a cappella, so we do not have any instruments. Our voices are our instruments. And to be able to create the uh, great sounds and the like that you can hear every word very distinctly that we sing and, uh, and the harmonies that come together, it just really gets to you very, very quickly and you want to just keep on doing it. We want to share the hobby. It's such a, a great uh, thing to do together with other men. Uh, the fellowship is a huge part of this. But once you get guys in singing and creating the harmony, uh, it, it's, it's a feeling inside that you can't recreate otherwise. Three. You're all the world to me, my love. You make everything so fine. We always talk about in our barbershop society that the music comes first and as long as we can get the music down and then if we can just add the next level of excitement through a little bit of choreography and storytelling I think the audience appreciates that more. Yes, winning the division championship of the Southwestern District, first time that the Tulsa Chorus has done that since 1960, uh, so it's been 50 Five, 54 years since that happened last time. And to be able to be out front of these guys and you know, six months before the contest challenge them uh, that this is something we could accomplish if we all just put our minds to it and if we were focused as one, then we could accomplish it and then we went and did it and it was a thrill of a lifetime.
and I got to say it's a great way to be remembered. <laughs>